It's your friend, Noxious Khan, here again, and we're going to be reading you another creepy pasta. This week, we'll be reading Deja Vu by Ouroboros. Almost everyone has had a moment of deja vu. Going about your business, you travel to school or work, or are simply strolling through the place you call home, when something catches your attention. You are sure you've seen it before, yet you're unable to recall when or where. You dismiss it, convinced that your memory is playing tricks on you. You convince yourself that it's simply a vague recollection of a similar past event. Nine times out of ten, you will be correct. But once in a while, the deja vu will leave behind an uneasiness that nestles itself in the back of your head. When you tell your friends or family, they too dismiss it as a figment of your imagination. You pay no more heed to it, pushing the restlessness to the far reaches of your consciousness. There it will sit, unattended by the safeguards of your mind. At the end of your day, you go to bed with a self-imposed idea of safety, fully believing that whatever you felt will pass after a night's sleep. The next day you wake, feeling rested. The world is as it always has been, or so it would seem. The deja vu has already slipped from your memory, and you can't even recall what the uneasiness had felt like. You drink your coffee or tea, do your usual morning rituals, say farewell for the day to your family, and then go to school or work. But as the door closes behind you, there are faint whispers. They fade with each step forward you take, and while you believe you can just make out their meaning, you again dismiss it as an overactive imagination. He doesn't remember, they say, with unearthly low volume. My dear, he will never remember. 